Hello and welcome back. We have seen the complete working of the NFT and in this lesson let's dive deeper in understanding the ERC721 smart contract. Also we will mint our first NFT using Remix platform. So now this is the URL which tells you about the ERC721 smart contract standards. You can find all the information related to the NFT standard in this article. Like the authors, status, type, category and the created date. Also this standard requires the 165 EIP. Well the EIP 165 is a standard interface detection. You can visit the specific EIP to check its details. Let me give you a quick overview of what are interfaces and why do we use them. The basic use of the interface is to interact with the already deployed smart contract on the blockchain. By creating an interface, you provide a skeleton of smart contract using which others can upgrade the contracts as per their features and functionalities. But they have to customize the things on the given skeleton. So they are bound to use the declared function in the interface contract in a way. Let's say you want to inherit some functions from other smart contracts, but you do not have access to the code of that contract. In this case, we use an interface to call the contracts. Now there is more to this, but this is enough. Now back to the EIP721 page. Here we have one more interface, ERC721 explained. Let's see its functions one by one. The first one is transfer event. This event is triggered when an NFT is transferred from one user to another. We will see complete implementation of these functions in the Open Zeppelin's contract. As of now, we are not going to build the ERC721 smart contract from scratch. We will just go through the functions and their implementations and use cases and directly mint our NFT using the Open Zeppelin's smart contract library. After that, there is another event, approval. This event is emitted in the approve function, which is declared here. Basically, you can approve any other user address to control your NFT. It takes two arguments. The first one is address of the approved user and the second one is ID of the token. The next event is approval for all. This event is emitted in the set approve for all function. This function gives access to the third party user to manage all of your NFTs that belongs to you. The earlier function is only for one NFT token whereas this is for all. Then the function balance off. This function takes one argument of type address and returns the total number of NFTs that belong to this particular user. After that the function owner off which takes token ID as an argument and returns the owner address of that token. Using this function, we can know who is the owner of that particular token. The three functions safe transfer from with two modes, with and without data as parameter and the transfer from function. These functions are used to transfer the NFT token from one owner to another. This is where the transfer event is also emitted. Now we will see the detailed implementations of these functions in the Open Zeppelin's smart contract library. You can visit the Open Zeppelin's GitHub page and in the contracts, token, ERC721 folder, you can find the ERC721.sol file. There are many files here related to the NFT smart contract. For now, in the ERC721 solidity file, you can see we have many imported files here. The first three are the interfaces and then the next three are the utility files. You can explore them and they are very easy to understand. And the last one is ERC-165 which we have discussed already. After the imports, we have the main contract here. This contract is extended with other contracts and interfaces. Now here we have defined the token name and symbol variables. These are private variables which are set in the constructor. And also down here we have the respective functions which return these variables. These functions are already declared in the IERC721 metadata smart contract. That's why they are overridden here. These functions explain the metadata like NFT token name, symbol and token URI. We will come to the token URL later. 
after the variables we have the mappings the first one is owners this mappings maps from the token id to the owner address basically this is where the owner of the nft is saved then we have the balances mapping this saves the total number of nft tokens owned by the users and then the token approvals and operator approvals mappings we have discussed what are the approval means while discussing the interface these mappings are used to store the approvals information then the constructor where we have set the name and symbol of our nft token then this function explains if the smart contract supports the erc165 interface and now you can see the balance of function which we have seen in the interface here it's in the fully implemented form this is returning the total count of nft which are saved in the balances mapping and then the owner of function which returns the owner of token id and then approve set approve for all get approved and the transfer functions here which we have discussed already now the most important function is mint function this function lets you create a new nft minting means basically creating something which did not exist earlier this is internal function so we have to call it in the extended contract to execute we will see when we mint our nft after that the burn function this is used to destroy the minted tokens and this is also internal so we have to call it ourselves in the extended smart contract as per the use case and below are some other functions we will discuss them later in some master class so that's all for this lesson in the next lesson let's mint our first nft using open zeppelin see you in the next lesson